All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Coming up, it's Divisional Round Saturday, and we've got an AFC battle on tap between the Houston Texans and the New York Jets. The first of four berths in the conference championships on the line here as Divisional Weekend of the NFL is underway. here on first down. That's Samuel caught left side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That goes for a gain of 31. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. First and ten, Darnold. In the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And it's a touchdown. The papers this week, it was all talk about how big of a game this was. Of course it is. It's the playoffs. It's the divisional round. But they handle it well. They score early. They really did. Plenty of confidence exuded on that drive. No nerve showing. Terrific way to get things started. They are in control. Extra point, good by Goskowski. And that makes the score 7-0. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And New York set to take the field. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 49-yard line. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. The 20. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 48 yards after the big play. A chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 26. First 
First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he's got Rome. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Houston. A great effort there. 74 yards. And the Texans are able to show off their quick strike ability. And oh, it's no good. For the second time now in this first half, he's missed an extra point. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Jets. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, hey, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On first down, it's Darnold. Flush to his right. Incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. They'll roll him out right. Taking a shot for Samuel. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, wh what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Detroit, let them fight it out. Detroit. And forces fourth down. They're going to go. It's Darnold. It's caught. Jones. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Not only is the slant route really difficult to cover, it's a real staple play for an offense on a fourth down because it's a quick hitting play. Get the ball in the hands of the quarterback right to the receiver. And the receiver has to be ready because that thing's coming on a rope. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. No, 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 no. Check. Patriots. Patriots. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. Hey, hey. A first down throw. Darnold taking a shot for Samuel. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. Then he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back. To throw on second is Watson. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. It's a gain of five on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Out of the gun, Watson. He finds his target, Fuller. He had six catches in the wild card win, and that's his first one here in the divisional round, and it's a first down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where... Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. 
on any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say, play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. On first down, it's Watson. Looking deep here for Ebron. This is caught inside the 15. A huge play there for Houston. 58 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. In for the score. And the Texans will extend their lead. Brandon, would you say they went from agony to elation in just a few quick seconds on that play? <laughs> Probably thought they were about to give it up in the red zone and then touchdown. Yeah, there is absolutely no way that they drew it up and said, this is the way it's supposed to be done. It just happened. But the end will justify the means. The point after try for Goskowski. Goskowski, the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Jets. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Here's Darnold rolling to his left. Now he'll throw deep left. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off at the 28. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. Not the best of plays there as a quarterback here. Right-handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to get the car keys out of your pocket with your opposite hand while you're trying to run. You just can't do it. After the interception, here's Watson sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. To throw is Watson. He's going to fire one deep. This is caught inside the 15. And he will reach the 8-yard line before going out. They give him a gain of 38. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big-time play right there. Here's Watson now on second down. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. 
five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's Texans football as we get going. Now Watson on third and goal. Eluding the pressure right. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. T.Y. Hilton, a five-yard touchdown. And the Texans will add on to their lead. Goskowski with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one tell me one. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they Rapper, finally Rapper. get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? Hurry up, here we go. Blue 90. Blue 90. Detroit. 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 Here's Darnold now on second down. Forced out to his left. And his pass incomplete. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Ah! Here's Darnold. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. And with that, they're now out of timeouts and still plenty of time remaining Detroit! here in this Detroit! second quarter. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Darnold to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Now Darnold on third and goal. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Blanketed coverage by Houston. Makes it fourth down. They converted Detroit, once earlier Detroit. on this opening drive, but now comes a big test. Fourth and goal. Snap it. They're going for it. Here's Darnold. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. 
Robbie Anderson, a five-yard touchdown. And the Jets are able to cut into this deficit. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that cuts this lead down to 13. Now the punter who also does the kickoff duties, Locke Edwards, out to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. And that is incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target. And now it's second down. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Watson on first down. Looking deep for Hilton. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. Flushed out right. Now he's going to throw deep rights. That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one goes for 36 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. They lost four there, and it's third down. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. From the gun on third, Watson escaping the pressure right. And this is going to be incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. Able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. This one taken from the seven. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First and 10, just shy of the 30. First down, Darnold. Flush to his right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. A 
The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold, eluding the pressure right. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Give him 30 yards there. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Looking deep downfield. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. This secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more Detroit. plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. Set. Green, 39. Green, 39. Detroit. Detroit. On second and 10, Darnold. He's going to loft one deep left side here. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant you the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. On fourth down, Darnold. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And this Texans defense stands tall. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. They go play action here on first down. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A very solid gain of 27. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Yeah, give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Here's Watson. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. down throw Watson flushed out right that is caught at the seven yard line and he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line seven yards the pickup on the pitch and catch So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, win or go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional Round. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 
The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the break, aren't they? Back to throw, Watson. Escaping the pressure right. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Avery Williamson. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. After the interception, here's Darnold. Taking a shot for Samuel. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. It's caught, Jones. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. Oh well, sometimes it doesn't appear like much. The out route can be very dangerous when you throw it to a guy like Julio Jones. If you try and undercut it, he can turn to a big play. The reason he's able to get it so often is because of his ability to push people deep and they have to respect that. On first down, it's Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined. But sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Second down and 10, Darnold. And they wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Detroit! Detroit! Now a play fake here on first down. He'll buy some time right. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a... And he is in! Touchdown, New York! As his guys are in for six. And the Jets are able to close the gap just a bit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. A shotgun snap for Donald. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands, he just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere, seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Try to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Get down, get down. Get down, get down. Go, go, go. 
To throw on second is Watson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Now Watson. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Only three there on the screen. It's second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The Texans on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. Watson. And he's got his man, Hilton. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. And on the ground they go with a running back. Look at the spin. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Back to the ground, this time with Freeman. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Second down, here's Watson. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. From the gun, here's Watson. Sacked back at the 22. Taco Charlton in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. And Goskowski's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gives them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line. Made them kick a field goal for the off. Accelerating, and off he goes. 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A great play there. The Jets have made this a one-score game. Myers connects on the PAT, and the lead will shrink to six. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Texans now. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. Check girls, 
Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Texans in control of the football and leading this game as well as we start the fourth. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Here's Watson now on second down. Flush to his right. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Leonard Williams forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Off of play action, it's Watson. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Taco Charlton in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. He's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Now the Jets' offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. So the previous play, a big help, is now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Detroit! Detroit! On first and 10, Darnold. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. This quarterback now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. A first carry for Trenton Cannon. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Now as we look down, it appears we've got a jet shaken up on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Set. Green, 39. Green, 39. Here's Darnold now on second down. The left side completion to Jones. That one goes for 24 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. So the ball moves from 138 to the other as they come up on first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Now, let's go. 319. On second down, Darnold. That's complete over the middle to Anderson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That one goes for 24 yards. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, 
bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can right foot in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing, and I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid, part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Gun, gun! Gun, gun! From the gun on third down, here's Donald. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line... They really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. One score go down. Go here we go. go They're going to go for it here on fourth down. All right, here we go. Blue Lady. Blue Lady. Detroit. Detroit. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Game on the line, season on the line. They're going for it here on fourth down. Desperation time. Well, I don't think we'll have to look very hard to find our play of the game. That was an absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. The offense has it in the red zone. Driving for the winning score. And he says, not on my watch. And that is one happy bunch on the sidelines. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Now a run with McCaffrey. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that's going to bring up the third down. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw, out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 16 yards on that one and also a Texan first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. There he goes inside the 30. How did he stay on his feet? That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. And a big loss here as he's taken down.
Thank you. 